Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Four fall to pieces you took my hand And before we drawn to ruins I mean you're wrong Leaving a world of trouble and misery You came to rescue me in near defeat Our good night message on this Friday, the 18th of December 2020, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the gospel passage of today, entitled Promises of God in Uncertain Times. I believe in amazing grace. Your heaven sent. I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus. As we are drawing closer to Jesus Christ, today we were presented with a passage that shows how Jesus Christ was born. That was in Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 to 24. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for Mary. It wasn't easy for Joseph. Both of them had experienced uncertainties. We are told the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child of the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quietly. And you may be wondering, but why did Joseph have to do that when this was by the power of the Holy Spirit? No, that wasn't easy for Joseph. Joseph was a man just like any one of us. What we have now is the knowledge we have gotten from scripture, but uh, nothing of that sort was revealed to Joseph. He just felt Mary had been unfaithful. And he was in a corner. He was in a corner of uncertainties. And when he felt the marriage was not going to take place, he acted like a man. He waited for his anger to subside. He went and slept. And in the night, God spoke to him. An angel spoke to him. And an angel assured him it is by the power of the Spirit that this has happened. And Joseph solved that because he was a man who was dependent on the word of God. He was a man who was dependent on the voice of God. When you are going through uncertain times, when you are going through difficult moments of indecision in your life, here are the promises of God that you should rely on. He tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 that he will never leave you or forsake you. That God will strengthen you and uphold you, Isaiah 41 verse 10. That he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease, Psalm 91 verse 3. That the Lord will go before you and be your rear guard, Isaiah 52 verse 12. That he will fight on your behalf, Exodus 14 verse 14. That his love will never fail you, Isaiah 54 verse 10. That you will be granted wisdom when you ask, James chapter 1 verse 5. That his plans are to prosper you, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. That God will meet all your needs according to his riches. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. That he will deliver you from all your troubles. Psalm 34 verse 17. 
that he works all things out for your good Romans 8 verse 28 that God is your refuge and strong tower in times of trouble Psalm 9 verse 9 that he will guide you and direct you Psalm 3 verse 5 to 6 that he will bless you and give you the crown of life James chapter 1 verse 12 that God will make you the head and not the tail Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 13 that he will exchange beauty for ashes Isaiah 61 verse 3 that grace mercy and peace will be with you 2nd John chapter 1 verse 3 that the Lord will make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you Numbers chapter 6 verse 25 that he will give you rest Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 and that there is victory in Christ Jesus Romans chapter 8 verse 37 that he will keep his promises Joshua chapter 21 verse 43 that he will keep you from every disease Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15 that healing abundant peace and security will be ensured Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 and that your sleep will be sweet Proverbs chapter 3 verse 24 glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit and may Almighty God bless you the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen good night as it dreams same to you father through the rage and storm comes a light you mend the brokenness of this life The darkest night I survived Where would I be without your mind? The seasons come and go, but not you You're forever faithful and true That you do. I believe in love, how the cross you're nailed to. I believe in amazing grace, and your heaven sent. I believe in you. I believe in you. That you do. I believe in love of the cross you're nailed to. I believe in amazing grace and your heaven's sake.